Hey, what it do, what it do, baby? I'm streaming. Uh, this little green thing means it's good to go. Stream is not bad quality. Let me just check here. Boom, we are live. All right. So in this video, I'm going to be doing stock only stock only boys so whatever i do y'all could totally do if you just follow along um i put the chat on this side this time and i put mine like uh my cam horizontally that way you guys can see like the packs that i'm gonna use it's all it's only gonna be stock stock stuff so stock drums stock synths stock mixing plugins everything um the only thing that i don't have that is not stock is span but it's just a analyzer and it's free so you can just go and and get yourself this really helpful analyzer but that's it that's the only thing everything else and this is just uh, making sure i'm not clipping putting up the gain a little bit so y'all could hear what I do. Let me just check one more time because lately my stream has been like not really all that great, but it's green, so we're good. If at any point uh, something happens, oh, it's probably double. So now you guys could hear me. Good thing I didn't start because that would have been a disaster. It wouldn't have gone through to the stream. All right, so we're good. I feel studio, you can hear it. Um, all right. What genre to make? I don't know. I don't like thinking of that when I make music because it's like <laughs> limiting to what I can do. So I'm just going to start with citrus because I really love using citrus. And usually I like making sounds, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use um, presets. So let's start with some pads. Probably gonna make techno, bro. I don't know, we'll see. We will see. <laughs> that, that sounds real tropical.
that's uh, it's gonna be the basis, the basis of uh, the pan. I'm just gonna put that into the uh, mixer real quick. Gonna do some EQing with Fruity Parametric EQ two. Cut some of that out, some of the low end. Let me check my stream. We're good.
look for in kick samples? Um, nothing really. I mean, just whatever fits. That's why I like having the track play and then I just go through them and whatever I feel like fits just by the sound, like if it fits together. Like for example, like that's too deep, you know? That's too punchy. I need something like that, more like, more dry, not so much bass. That way the bass can stand out in the track whenever I put it in. So this one, you know, just short, not too clicky or like punchy, just, just kind of like subtle.
Okay, so I'm gonna do some sidechain. Since this is a uh, stock only, I'm gonna have to do um, a stock way of sidechaining. So I'm just gonna clone this kick. I'm gonna rename this sidechain, color red. Go into the drum patterns, put the same kick, link, put this up. Grab all of these, put them into the mixer. Grab this, uh, I'll just leave it there. Grab it, the side chain, unlink it from the master so that it, you won't hear it. And then just use it as a sidechain to uh, whatever you're trying to sidechain. I'm going to go into the limiter. Um, I already have a preset made for it. Just boom, sidechain. But uh, you just, all you got to do, I like doing this. So if it is a loud sample, it doesn't like compress it. But usually it's not, it's not like going to be super loud. Then you just go into the compression side right here, where it says sidechain, you right click and then just choose whatever you used, minus SC, sidechain. So I just put SC. And then to activate it, because it's right now it's not doing anything. To activate it, you just turn the threshold down and the ratio up. You can see it doing the sidechain right there. And depending how much you want, like how hard of a sidechain you want, you turn this. You see? So that's how you do the sidechain. Thanks for the inspiration and for showing that it's possible to create a melodic techno track out of stock only plugins. Yeah, for sure. This isn't, I don't, I don't think this is going to be necessarily uh, melodic techno stuff. But I do have like that on my channel. Um, this is more like slow, slow pace. It's at 113 beats per minute. Something a little more um, mellow. But it could be melodic techno. I mean, who knows? So I'm going to turn down some of these things because they're pretty loud. for the first sound I had. That's fine. again into the presets I like using the deep um, on the bass bass deep 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 two deep three Alright, now we've got to figure out a baseline. 
gonna play it at like a higher just so I can get like a feeling for it So I'm gonna call this delay bus. I'm just gonna call it delay. I'm gonna color that like uh, pink. So for this, I recommend you just make a preset again. It just speeds up your workflow. Like for me, I have, you know, delay, reverb, all that stuff saved. That way I just plug it in, file, load it, boom, it's in. So you just put whatever you want. I like putting an EQ first so that I can control what gets delayed. So I always take out, you know, the low end because you don't want you don't want it to create that like muddiness unless it's something you're going for. Um, you take out the low end and then take out some of like the super high end. And then you add the delay. So for this, I'm going to add... Mm, probably delay two, maybe delay three. Again, this is only stock stuff, so this comes with FL Studio. And then once you have like whatever you want to save as a delay, you just right click, file, 
save mixer state as and then you just type in whatever you want to name it then next time you just click here file boom delay you got it or if you want to like also be quick and just make another one you just right click file save mixer state as you hold it and then you just put it wherever you want and it'll create another one so like drop it there it creates the same one again so it's really handy um comes in handy so yeah i'm gonna add some delay to that clap let me check the stream real quick we're good everything is good boys okay i want to add a delay but i don't want to i don't want it to delay a lot so i'll probably do like i'll have it delay like once i mean you just go down here you click what you want to delay and then you just hit this little arrow and it'll mix it in there and you can change the amount that you want that signal to go into the delay so if you have it here nothing's happening if you have it full then it's delaying all of that so i'm going to change the time and i want to change the feedback amount if you put it all the way down it only it only does one delay so it's just the hit and then another one. So that's kind of what I want, but I want to do some cutoff to it. Maybe some resonance. And then definitely um, panning, panning this to the side. So I'm going to I'll probably pan it to the right. So, so I'm gonna pan this to the right. Why is it going to the left? That's weird. Piano sounds, you could use citrus. Citrus has some good like piano sounds. Um there's also like FL keys, but it is trash, bro. I mean you can make it sound good, but what I like to do is I go down here to where it says instruments in the packs right here. Um it's uh stock, you know, it comes with FL Studio. Go into keyboard and it has all these pianos. I like going for the roads. You just drag it, drop it in. Boom, you got a piano. And it sounds nice. Yeah. So I'll probably just play something in along here.
figure out. I think it's in C minor, but.
going to um, let's go into GMS. GMS is also a stock plugin from FL Studio. this to 
to fruity granulizer so just put open in fruity granulizer you just right click it and it'll have the option open a new fruity granulizer channel i'm gonna take off that very beginning uh click just go to sample start take it on like that Boom. and then i'm gonna put it in I'm just experimenting right now. I don't know how it's gonna sound, but we'll, we'll see. And I can just put loop, and it'll keep looping it. Maybe take some of that emptiness out. Right here. Just drag it to there. And then you just add grains. Dun, 
Dun 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 dun.
Nick, bro. That sounds good. Sounds good. It sounds good. Um. I need something right here, like to fill this out. That's what the lead needs to be. Um, but I feel like it's better with flex. Flex is also a uh, stock plugin. Now, some of these packs are not stock, but uh, I'm going to use this one, Scythe, Samir, Synthwave. This one was free. Uh, I don't know if it still is. I'm pretty sure it probably is. Um, and you probably have it. If not, you could check like here. Um, but yeah, I, I really like these sounds. You just go down here, tags, leads. You have all these leads. I'm gonna turn it down because some of them are pretty loud.
再清澈如水。
games. No, that's too harsh. I need something like, like salt, bro. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get some salt. Uh I'll be back. I'm gonna just keep playing this for a little bit. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna record. I got this uh, ground ground paprika bottle. I would recommend anything that has powder, salt, uh, spices, or you could just get like a bottle and put sand in it. And you got a shaker, bro. Um, I'm gonna turn off my AC. That way I get a nice uh, recording. Take some of this stuff off. Yeah. Um, turn this up. Put in, in Edison. Let me see what it sounds like first. Yeah. Okay.
to get the motions. good that's good i really like uh i guess i'll just play them back Okay, so I I like this one and this one. No, just go in and hey, what up, Sally? I just go in here and edit this. I like half of this, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. Turn on a crossfade. Put in another one. Boom. Mm, let's try a different one. I'm gonna re-record it. I can get it. I can get it. I just gotta hold this the right way. I don't want this to spill all over the place, bro. That would be terrible. Can you tell me how everything sounds so good when you make music? I don't know, man. I mean, everything is in key for the most part. I'm playing everything on my keyboard on key. I try to at least. because of <clears throat> I think it's because of my latency actually that's why it sounds a little bit off I'm gonna turn it up okay I'll um, play I'm just gonna do half and then We'll go from there.
Um, let's see what you're saying. Uh, can you tell me everything sounds so good when you make music? Everything sounds in key in your songs. Gonna get into a full studio. You make me make music. One more question. Don't you make a new pattern after everything like kick in one pattern, clap or another? Yeah, when I'm arranging, I just, uh, I... It depends how long I want stuff to be. For example, in pattern one, the chords take up like both of these. So it's two. It's this long. And every the kick and everything else that I did is in one segment or four bars. So the chords are eight bars. But it varies. It depends on every song. You know, it just depends. And then once I have like a good loop that I like, then I just go here and I just put split by channel and that separates everything that I have into its own separate channel. And then I just put them all separately and then I start arranging. But uh, that's for like when I'm already going to arrange the track. Okay, let me listen to this uh, shaker. Where do you click right here in pattern in these patterns or however many patterns you have if you're seeing something else this is audio this is patterns audio automations so you go into patterns right click split by channel it's right here so patterns right click split by channel And you can do it up here too. So if you go up here, right click, split by channel. I need to like, I like the shaker, I just need to fix it a little bit. I just need to be moved over just a little bit. put it in
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to record some more. Okay, so I just, basically what I did right here is I recorded the noise in my room, like when I'm not doing anything. And so I just hit, uh, like this is a really, really useful uh, tip if you have like a really noisy environment um, and you're recording stuff, just record like the, the silence. And then you go up here to this little brush tool and you right click it and it'll say noise profile acquired. And then once you do that, you go to where, whatever you want to uh, clean. For example, I want to clean this one, which was this little loop right here. And you just, you highlight it. Let me normalize it. And then you click the brush since you already have the noise profile or like of the noise in the background you just click on what you want to clean up you hit the little brush and you can choose the amount here you know Basically what that does, it just cleans up the noise. So if you're doing vocals or recording an instrument or recording whatever, record what you, you want to record and then just let it play and let it, let it record the silence. That way you clean up this, the, the noise in the background. And there you go, boys. Doesn't it be that loud?
could start arranging it a little bit. Just give me some time to stretch real quick. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. I'm glad I could be of service. Let me turn this down a little bit. So, um... Uh, Yeah, it's a, now now it's now it's where I um split by channel. Uh, this one I don't need to split because it's only one. It's just the pad. So I'm just gonna rename this pad. And then I suggest you rename if you're gonna rename stuff, just rename the stuff here real quick and then split. That way it already has that name. Cause if you split it. And then you want to change the name, you have to, I mean, you don't have to, but they're not going to be the same, you know? So if you want to change the name, you have to change it here and then here and then in the mixer. So I would say start off just renaming all these things already from the get-go. Just to be organized, you know? For me, though, I don't need to. I mean, these are pretty self-explanatory. Hat, hat, shaker, kick, you know? So, I'm just going to go in here, split by channel. If you have two, just delete one. So just delete. And you go here. The sidechain, uh, I like keeping it kind of where, um, where the kick is. So... There you go, and then you just highlight, copy it over. And you have the loop. <laughs> and you just copy this, highlight it, copy it a couple of times. And then start breaking it down to what you want. So usually in the beginning, you know, you got uh, just the ambient parts. Maybe this. Shoot. putting the side chain so that it has already that like pumping motion.
break right there. It's not. There it is, boys. Woo! Snap. That's uh three, four minutes, bro. Four minute track from one loop, real quick, laid it out. I mean, it's still it's not done, right? But the bass is there, bro. The basis, the fundamental bones of the track have been laid out. Now you can just do a whole bunch of stuff to it. Or you could just leave it as is. I mean, it's just a real chill, mellow track. Uh, I'm going to play it back. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more, though.
Yeah. Damn, son. That was a quickie. How much time was that? An hour and 48 minutes on this track. Stock plugins only. And a little bit of recording. Just the shaker. But you can do that with anything. Like I said, I did it with some garlic powder bottle. So uh, you can use salt. You can use dirt in a bottle. Sand. I, I need to buy actual shakers, bro. That's like, that's my next thing. I need to buy some like percussive instruments. I need to buy a new drum because mine like messed up. Look at this, bro. Shit. Look at this. Look at this depressive sight, bro. I don't know if y'all could see it. Let me see. Look at this, bro. My drum. Has a hole in it. It's, it's a sad djembe. I need to get another one. But yeah, I have like, I have, oh, I didn't even realize I had this. I forgot. But yeah, I need to get one of those like little egg. It's like a little egg looking uh, shakers. It's like. Um, but yeah, this was fun. Oh, and then I have this lady right here. I started this painting yesterday. I don't know if y'all could see it with the glare. But yeah, I started this painting yesterday. And then I have like. This, it's an oil painting of an eye, and this one too. This one's a self-portrait. But yeah, I'll finish this track, bro. I'll, I'll release it. I just, I'm picky, man. Like, I hear it right now, and it sounds good, but there's, like, a lot of work that needs to go into it still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the uh, the part that has everything playing. Which is this section right here. I'm just going to highlight that. Boop. And I'm going to start kind of mixing. Doing some mixing. So I'm going to play. I'm going to single out all the drums, the bass, and the melodic elements. I'm going to put them into their own, like, bus. So I'm going to... I already have it here. Drum bus. Bass bus. Melodic bus. And they don't have anything on it. They're just it's just the name. But it just saves me time. I just put it in real quick. So then I go to all the drums. As long as they're not like routed to anything. Like this one's routed to this, so I'm not gonna click on that one. But I can select all these. Right click here, route to this track only. They all route to that. And then I do this manually since it's routed. Same thing for this. Shaker 2. Now I have all the drums in one. Now I go into... Uh, this one's the bass. I'm route to this track only. Got the bass. Then everything else... Is uh, melodic. So... Goes into the melodic. This is vocals, um, but I'm just going to put it into melodic. Usually if I'm doing vocals, I put that onto its own uh, bus. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it into its own bus. So file. Just going to rename this. And there you go, you have everything separate. And now you can start doing some mixing, compression, all that stuff. So I go to the bus. I'm gonna EQ 
secure this first of all. Whoops, wrong one. I'm gonna put in a um well first off I'm gonna put the kick and mono put that clap and mono and I'll go to dynamics maximus Hello, low end. Make this bigger. I'm gonna do some compression. Whoops. Hey, bro, I'm too much high. I'm gonna take a nap of this song. Please drop by. <laughs> I'm too much high. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably drop it, or I, I will drop it on SoundCloud, so whenever it's done, maybe today, um, I'll put it in the comments and in the uh, description once it's ready to go. But yeah, thanks for coming around to the stream, appreciate you, Paolo. Have a good nap. Am I from India? No, I'm not from India. I'm Mexican. I'm from Mexico. Uh, but I live in the United States. I've lived here my entire life. But my uh, my race is Mexican. some compression minimal very minimal compression not a lot but you can tell the difference now for the bass same thing dynamics maximus is bigger solo the sub then in mono.
I'm gonna solo a sub. I'm gonna take out all this information. Because I don't need it. Because that's reserved for the base. And that's fine. I'll open it up a little more. Yeah, no worries. I'm not gonna delete this video. This will be up on the channel. I'm trying to keep it under two hours. So I have like a minute left. But this truck's pretty much like done. I mean, I just, I'm just gonna work on little stuff, but. Um, yeah. And then the box, last one. Same process, solo. Low, take out all that low information, mids, it doesn't really need compression actually, maybe that, that piece right there. Just turn this back down. It's kind of uh, going out of phase. Going to mono. Yeah, it's going out of phase. Which is not something you want. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to mono this.
survive one more playthrough and then I'll finish this uh, stream. And then I'll work on finishing it, finishing it up and uploading it to my SoundCloud, maybe even Spotify. It depends. It depends. So, yeah. Uh, let me play it back one more time. That is it, boys. Once I uh, finish it, it'll be up. I'll put the link in the description or the comments. And appreciate y'all for coming around.